So I want to share some things today with how I do things organically in my garden. Um, a lot of pest control needs to be done organically because I do not use chemicals. Everything in this backside of my property is 100% organic. And that's because I want that in my food and I don't want to eat the pesticides. But I just have some simple stuff in a tray and a big white bucket. And I'm going to teach you two methods of what I do to get rid of the deer and the rabbits out of my garden. Now, it may not work in every area because all animals are different across the board. Um, I'm in South Carolina, Zone 7B, but I know that like I live in the woods, and so I get about 13 deer at a time walking through my yard. I get a big herd that just comes through, and they eat everything. I have not been able to grow brassicas correctly because they come through and they eat them all. I have all kinds of issues with ants. Arr! Which is really easy if you have ant hills and fire ants especially boiling water 100 percent boiling water just go out and pour boiling water on those ant hills and it gets rid of them even if they're in your raised beds it may mess up a little section where you have some worms around it or whatever but boiling water works really 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 good you might have to do a couple trips but yeah boiling water on ants other than that the deer that come through my yard when they eat the brassicas um yeah, they don't give me the food. So I've decided I'm going to try this method again. It worked for me earlier in the season. It worked for me in the fall. And I'm going to go through and show you guys what I do. The other thing is going to be for rabbits. And that's really simple. Just go to your recycling center and get some bottles of soda. Some big two liter bottles of soda. Or if you drink soda yourself, get a bunch of those. And, okay, the five gallon bucket is going to be for my deer repellent. What I've got here are my duck eggs. Um, they're really dirty and I don't even I don't even know my ducks were laying so I'm not gonna eat them you can use chicken eggs you can use whatever eggs you want but you just want some eggs now you can crack them and put just the yolk and white in or just do like me and just throw the whole things in I'm not going to get rid of the shells I'm just gonna keep the shells in there Look how rich those yolks are though they're beautiful so I'm just gonna break these eggs up and I'm just gonna whisk it around a little bit and that way they're all mixed together. So I've whisked my eggs, they're all in there. I've got a container of cayenne pepper. You wanna use a really hot pepper for this. Chili powder could work, but I would prefer just to go like super hot. Okay, so I took the lid off to make this easier, but I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons, big sprinkle of cayenne pepper in this. And then all we're gonna do is add some water. Now I recommend bringing this down to your garden first because it will get heavy, but you wanna fill this bucket a little more than halfway up. You can kinda of see the line that I use. That's what I do, and that way if it rains, then it can fill up a little bit more. But we're just gonna fill it with water and put it down by the garden. All right, and that's what it looks like when you're done. You wanna set this here for about three to five days. Let it get really stinky. It'll get foamy, it'll kinda of smell, turn darker, and that is what you're gonna put around your garden around your garden plants or even on your plants. It doesn't harm anything and it completely washes off. So yes, I just take a toilet brush and I stick it in the mixture and it's nice and stinky and I just kind of sprinkle it around and across my plants. Why does this work? Because A, the smell of the eggs masks everything in your garden. So they can't smell the sweet of your cabbages or the pungent, you know, strong scents from all those other brassicas they smell rotten eggs that's it but if they do make it over there and they take a nibble because you know deer do that they're gonna taste nothing but hot cayenne pepper and they do not like that so that gets rid of them if you're afraid to use the eggs this way to put on your vegetables then do an egg soak in the water like this and do the eggs as a perimeter and then just sprinkle a mixture of cayenne pepper and water on top of your plants and like I said it washes off I promise you Every piece of Swiss chard or kale or any brassica that I pulled, they wash right off. Not a big deal. Now let's talk about this rabbit repellent. Like I said, all you need is just a simple two liter bottle and something to put in the ground. So very simple. Now if you have trouble cutting, you can use scissors for this, but I'm just going to use a box cutter because that's what I have on hand. So let me show you how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make three slits on this. I'm doing two across and one down and be very very careful because like I said this is sharp and you might get cut so watch yourself and again you can use scissors if you prefer scissors but I'm gonna do three of these all the way around okay so I've done 
three. Doesn't matter the size or anything like that. But what you want to do is you now want to kind of bend and fold this backwards and squeeze it down really good so that it sticks out like that. You want it to stick out as a big flap. So I'll go ahead and do all three of them. Probably should have washed this first. I recommend doing that because this is really sticky. I washed the outside but not the inside. Alright, so what I have now is a bottle that just has these pieces sticking out. I'm going to remove my lid and we're going to put it in the ground. Okay, so I put a stick in the ground because the other ones were going to be for smaller bottles and this is a two liter. But all I'm going to do is put this on the end and let it sit. And what should happen is as the wind comes through, it'll spin it. I might have to straighten the stick out some, but it'll spin it some and it'll um, kind of show movement in the garden at all times as well as reflecting light and that'll scare off any of the little small things like you know rabbits and stuff that come through so yeah I probably need to do a straighter stick for it to work better I mean, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on I do have a big long dowel rod that I can use next time but I think a flat bottom bottle would work a lot better so I would look for those because I know with like the um, smaller bottles it works really good like with water bottles and stuff but you basically just need something to catch like little wings to make it spin and move and then when it's really sunny out it'll reflect a lot of that light as well so that's just my little tips on organic ways to you know get rid of the pests in your garden the deer repellent and these bottles and then you know even boiling water on your anthills so thank you guys for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one bye